Hello, my beautiful love bugs, and welcome back to my series, What's in a Name, where we're going through the different orders of insects and talking about how they got their order name. This is helpful for you because, A, when you can translate the Greek into English, then you know what we used to describe the group, and that can help you identify them in the field. Today, we're talking about flies. Yep. All of them. Diptera. The order name Diptera is very simple. It literally just means die, which means two, and terra, which means wings. They are the two winged insects. Why? Because their hind wings have been modified to be these little like chicken leg nubbin kind of things called haltiers. These haltiers are responsible for flight stabilization for the insect, but also just give the insect a ton of information about air currents and like what's going on around it. In the blowflies, the haltier is covered with 50% of the sensilla, and sensilla are the little hairs on the insect that are mechanoreceptors. They're letting the insect know if they're like gonna bump into something or what the air currents are. So 50% of the feeling hairs on some of these flies is located on the haltiers, and that's why the flies can escape from you so easily because they can feel you coming from literally miles away. The Diptera are broken down into two different suborders. The first suborder is Nematocera. Nemato means thread and Sera means horn. These are the thread horned insects or the thread antennae insects. This group is not monophyletic and is likely to change probably within our lifetime. Almost all of insect taxonomy is like up in the air. If you haven't seen my Hemiptera video, then <laughs> go check it out because you'll, you'll see how this changes all the time. Anyway, so Nematocera is not monophyletic. It basically is like everything that has these kind of thread-like antennae and the group isn't evolutionarily derived from a common ancestor. It's essentially what we like to call a trash can family. What are in here? A lot of your biting flies that you don't like, mosquitoes and midges. A lot of your disease vectors are in this particular group. Not all of the flies that are in this group are disease vectors. You have a lot of helpful ones as well. Like you have crane flies, which decompose things. You have fungus gnats also decompose things. And also if you've ever been to the caves in Australia or New Zealand to see the glow worms, they are fly maggots uh, in this group of the nematocera. So. They have a bunch of interesting species that are not tied up to biting people or diseases as well. It's a pretty big group. Now, not all of these flies have long thread-like antennae. Some of them have feathery antennae. Some of them are just kind of thread-like but not particularly long. The other suborder is Brachycera, and this means short horns. Brachy is short, Cera is horn. These are these short antennae flies. Their antennal structure is very interesting because most of them have like a big lobe and then just a little hair that sticks off. Sometimes that little hair that sticks off is a little bit feathery. Sometimes in the case of horse flies, for example, you have what kind of look like deer antlers <laughs> like sticking out of their head. Regardless, they have this really interesting kind of two part pseudo segmented antennae in this way. This group includes your house flies, your flesh flies, your blow or bottle flies, your horse flies, and a lot of pollinators as well. Like a lot of hover flies and bee flies are in this group. The soldier flies are also in this group. There are lots of flies, especially in Brachycera, that look like bees but are not. Going back to the order name, Diptera, if you see a bee flying around that when to, upon closer inspection, only has two wings, then it is a fly. Although to be fair, in the field, if you're trying to identify them, it's a little bit easier to identify them based on their eyes and their antennae versus how many wings they have because, you know, they're flying and it's hard to count when they're flying. <laughs> But there you have it, the Nematocera and the Brachycera make up the two-winged insects, the flies.